Today's video, we're going to show you the best way to defend really any defense, any any offense in the game right now. I think this is the best base defense in the game. If you want to get my entire dollar defense V-Book, we've updated it post-patch with new blitzes, new coverage adjustments, all of that stuff. You can get that by joining the Patreon. Uh, the link's going to be down in the description down below. So why is dollar the best defense post-patch? It's for several different reasons. Um, but essentially, we're going to be running a defense in between DB Fire 2 and Cover 4 Drop Contain. And our coaching adjustments are going to be as follows. We're going to have our flats on 30, our curl flats on 5, and then our zone coverage is going to be on match. And we're going to have our base line on. So first and foremost, why is Dollar the best defense in the game right now? It's because it's the most consistent blitz in the game. If I pinch my defense just like this, and I stand in this gap right here, a lot of times you're going to get consistent edge pressure, and you're going to force your opponent to have to block a running back. This is one of the best features of the Dollar defense is it's one of the most consistent five-man pressures in the game. So I'll show it to you again. This time I'll put the running back on a route. You see how consistent the slot corner is going to come in. So we have consistent pressure, and we're not going to send consistent pressure a lot. We're going to send consistent pressure situationally. So I love the build coverages out of this as well, and we have these stock vertical hooks to these middle linebackers. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense, and we're going to back off the corner that is on the short side of the field. So in this example, we're backing off the corner on the left-hand side. From there, we're going to crash our defensive line down, which is going to give us better run defense and better sheds. We're going to blitz our user. We want to get kind of in this gap right about here. And then we are going to put both of these outside players in purples. And then we're going to create a cover four shell on the right-hand side where we're using an outside quarter and an inside quarter. So essentially, this is a cover six style of defense. And it's going to be really effective because they cannot run a corner route to the right-hand side. No matter what they do, um, because that's the wide side of the field, that outside quarter is always going to defend that. Unless they motion out, and honestly, if they do motion out, typically um, this defense is still going to be able to play corner routes because the outside quarters play so well out of dollar. It's truly specifically to dollar or just formation similar to dollar because of how wide the formation is truly going to uh, work against this. Another reason this is a really good defense is let's say they run, this is a very popular route combination right now, um, essentially a C route to the left-hand side. So if they run a C route to the left-hand side, A, you could use a rush on up the A cap, which never happened, has literally never worked for me that well before. Um, but the other thing that you have here is this short side cloud flat. So when you utilize a cloud flat, you really want to, in my opinion, only run cloud flats to the short side of the field. To the wide side of the field, you should be running quarter zones, okay? That's a really, really big tip that a lot of people really kind of sleep on, to be honest. So you want to be running cloud flats to the short side unless you really know, like, for a fact that it's going to work to not do that. But this is a great uh, defense because what you'll see is this 30-yard cloud will take away any C route over there on the left-hand side. So they're not going to be able to throw a C route. They're not going to be able to throw a crosser. They're not going to be able to throw any of that stuff. They're going to have to attack – um, to the right side. So what a lot of people will do um, to try to attack this style of defense is they will motion out and they'll run a corner route. So maybe they'll do something like this combo here on the left-hand side. Number one, it's kind of obvious that they're going to do that. So what we can do defensively to kind of counter that is we can utilize a man up on the slot receiver. So we could go with the purple zone and we could take the slot and we could just man him up on the slot receiver to try to take this away a little better. So now, again, I'm able to just lurk in the middle of the field, and what you're going to see is this corner route is going to get bagged with that man up, and that outside quarter is going to be rolling backwards to defend this. So this is a great little defense here. And again, when the other cool part about 30-yard clouds, when you press a 30-yard cloud, so if we leave the defense like this, one of my favorite adjustments right now is I'm going to put that backed-off player when I want to blitz. I'm going to put that backed-off player in a deep half, and I'm going to put the safety in a curl flat. And you might think this is kind of crazy, but it will actually pretty much always, um, for me, has done a really good job of lurking any kind of flat. So I'm not worried about the flat. Look at that five-yard curl flat come down and at least make a tackle for a short game. So it's a great way to appear like we're playing the double Mabel defense. But in reality, we're going to kind of like change it up slightly and we're going to do something like this. And now if you look on the right hand side, you also have um, that cloud, that um, that 30 yard cloud flat that's pressed up. A pressed 30 yard cloud is going to do a really good job against things like short corner routes, quick flats, because um, the, the, the way the momentum of the of the uh, 
the way the momentum of the player is going to take it back. So you'll see here, if I try to throw a quick to the flat on the right-hand side, that cloud flat is still going to be able to come down because he's not backed up so much uh, to be able to defend this. So it's going to play, basically my point is this, when you press a 30-yard cloud, it is going to play a little bit more like a traditional cloud flat is going to play. Um, and then it's going to continue to back up. So like, let's say, you know, they do actually pick up your pressure and they try to throw this corner out to the tight end. Watch this cloud flat. He'll play those shorter corner routes because again, he's going to play more like a standard cloud flat will. So it's a great little uh, way to, to get pressure out of the same uh, look. And it looks exactly the same, but now with one little tweak, we're able to take away flats on both sides of the field. We're able to take away the seams with the verticals with the, um, we're able to take away the seams with the vert hook. And then we're also, another cool little tip, you could do the you could do the scissor adjustment. The reason the scissor adjustment will work better is because now that corner's coming from depth. So he's going to lurk the running back route. So there's a lot of cool features like this in Dollar. Dollar, I think, I don't know how you find a better defense than either one for six or Dollar right now in this game because the the coverage is the best. It's the best coverage you can get for what you have. And then it's also just going to force your opponent to have to work. If you can stop the run, which we have good run defense in our ebook on this, you can really bag people right now out of the dollar or the 146. My personal favorite is the 146, but dollar is really good as well. We have full ebooks on both of those on the Patreon. We also have the 43 even if you guys want to run that. Um, but I really personally just prefer this uh, this coverage shell right here. This is my favorite defense in the game. And I think it's the best defense in the game right now because it's pretty much bomb proof. You're not going to give up a lot of one play scores and you're not going to give up a lot of big plays and you're going to force your opponent to have to work up and down the field. And that should be enough to at least hold them to three and get you the stops that you need. Thanks for watching. Join the Patreon to get better at the game. All my eBooks for just $10. You get everything by being a member. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.